Hello everyone, welcome to the chart of the day video. Uh, today is uh, May 25th, the time is around 1.45 a.m. GMT and today we are looking at the chart of silver right here, 60 minutes chart. Uh, we can see we ended 4 and a 5 and with 1 at the lows so now looking for a with two before turning lower again, right? Now a couple of things here we're gonna discuss about uh, a little bit of the larger degree as well as uh, some of the other observation that uh, I see in the market right now for silver, okay? So first of all, if we look at the structure of the rally here, um, honestly it does look corrective we got uh, multiple overlapping here and uh, this one now you might say this is one two three four five but it doesn't look like a five waves it looks better as a three waves uh, EPC is looking better uh, with the third swing right reaching the hundred percent only uh, if you want to label this as a five waves uh, the most credible five waves should be when the wave three uh, is 1.618 of wave 1. Now we can see right here the entire uh, structure here right is ending within the 100% extension so that to me looks corrective so if your first leg of the rally looks corrective then most of the time this is the entire rally is still corrective right and therefore uh, now we are looking to do a 7 swing so we have three swings up ending W, three swings down ending X and then now looking for another three swings up when the B here is in the form of a, a flat, expanded flat. So it's a little bit of a mess, right? But anyway, we're looking for this WXY to finish and if you just simply measure the 100% extension, we should be looking to finish. If it can go to 100%, then it can go all the way up to 22.7 all the way to 23.6 now I know that you see invalidation level right here but this 23.3 is actually not that relevant and let me tell you why because we are in the wave 2 so wave 2 can break above wave 4 of one lesser degree without any problem so to figure out what we are looking at let, let's zoom out a little bit uh, so this is the daily time frame so I will put down the 5 so that you can understand what it is about this is a five and this is a one right here and the four here according to this is at 23.3 right so 23.3 is right here I believe let me double check yes so this is your four and this is your three then right so then you can sort of guess where is the 3 if this is 4 and this is 5 then this has to be in the 3 if this is the 3 then you can guess where is the 2 the 2 has to be somewhere here right and then that means this has to be a 1 so as, as simple as that so uh, this could be 1 here because this one looks like a 3 waves so you can put the 1 here and then call a flat here expanded flat ABC right so we are talking about this decline started from uh, March 8 okay March 8 which is in five waves ending here in the wave one now we are doing this wave two right here we know that this rally it it looks better as a corrective structure for now this one and uh, we're looking for wave two to finish now if it is wave two then then we are correcting this entire decline so the most important level not to be broken is this one not this one Right, so the 4 is not really relevant in this case, which is this 4 invalidation level. Uh, uh, we can go break above here and still uh, this count is not invalidated, right? I mean, this can still be with 2 right here by breaking above 4 like this and go down again. It doesn't invalidate anything. And the few still remains um, intact uh, that this with 2 is going to be uh, basically a correction of this now you can use a retracement also to give you an idea of a potential target on the upside 
uh, if we are correcting the March cycle, uh, we can go to let's say 38.2 or even 50 percent. Uh, 22 point 23.2 is the 38.2 percent retracement. Uh, 23.7 is your 50 percent retracement, right? So let's go back here. So the the uh, sort of the target area is between uh, 22.7 using extension all the way up to 23.7. Okay, so 23.7 is your 50 percent. Your 38.2 is 23 dollars. So uh, we could, yeah, we can go to 22.7 to 23, for example, uh, maybe to reach this first target 38.2 to finish 2. Then from there, we can either go down to new low again or else do a bigger double correction like this, maybe reaching 50% before ending 2 and go down. But the idea is the rally looks corrective so far, right? So that kind of favors more downside. Secondly, if you take a look at this uh, pattern here from this peak in $30, we got this lower low. We got this lower low. And if you just simply measure the extension right here, now you got a potential target to 18.3 all the way down to 13. Now, uh, we still have not reached the ideal right now it can truncate yes but there is no signs so far to give any indication that we truncate and then it's ready to you know to rock and roll on the upside right uh, but so as long as there is no indication whatsoever then we have to go with this pattern and suggest okay most likely we can continue to go down especially considering the rally so far looks corrective Right, so again, so bottom line is, yeah, we can see a bit more upside, shorter cycle, and if it does extend all the way up to the hundred percent, we can go to twenty two point seventy five or even twenty three, uh, which is the thirty eight point two percent retracement, and then from there we have a chance to either finish two and go down, to finish two and go down to new low, or this could be a W of two as an alternate, go down in the X and go up again, WXY to finish two before going down, right? Bottom line is uh, we still like more downside. Now, at what point uh, do we abandon the downside? Well, I, actually, in this case, it's still very far. Uh, this is the channel, the bearish channel. So, yeah, unfortunately, it is a very... So this is the bearish channel here. So as long as we stay within this channel, you can continue to go down. As long as we stay within this channel. If we break above it, then okay. Uh, then maybe we are not going to go down any longer. But until then, there is no uh, indication, no sign that we have bottom. All right. So that's the update here for uh, today. And as always, if you want to get regular updates, you can check our service. We have a 14 days trial. The link is provided in the description of the video. And I'll see you all again next time. Have a nice day, everyone.